So as you can see, we've been busy out on the job site and we've got our bearers and joists down and now we need to put our platform floor down and um, hopefully what we're going to show you next would happen well before this stage but I'm going to show you the process of actually calculating how many sheets of um, flooring you need to cover this floor and as I said, this should be done well in advance so you can actually have it ordered and on site when you need it. So let's have a look at our floor in plan view. And the first thing we need to know is we need to get our dimensions for the actual floor itself, not the dimensions for the brickwork, which we would have been given on a plan. So you know, typically, if you're doing a brick veneer house, we're going to have 110 mil of brickwork and a 40 mil cavity. So that means we need to take 150 mil off either side of our original dimension to get the actual dimension of our floor space. So I've done that in this case and these are the dimensions that we have of the actual floor. So to work out our flooring, first thing we need to do, to do is establish what area of flooring we have. So the formula for area is length times width and we've got a bit of an odd shape here, an L shape, so I'm going to have to do it in two steps. So my first area, which is going to be this area here, this long area on the left hand side, it's um, 4.56 metres long and it's 2.085 metres wide. So I'm going to times those two figures together. It gives me just over nine and a half square metres in that section. So then to do the second section, which is this short part of the L, uh, what I have to do is I have to work out what's remaining on this side, what I haven't worked out already. So what I do is I take the 4.58 and minus the 2.085, and that gives me 2.5, so I know it's 2.5 metres long, times that by my 2.05, and that gives me 5.12 square metres on this side. So adding those two together, I get a combined area of 14.63 um, square metres of floor for this particular building. Okay, so that's the first step. Next thing I need to do, this is the sheet that I'm going to use, standard type sheet, 3.6 metres long and 900 mil wide. So I have to work out the area or how much each sheet's going to cover. So 3.6 by 0.9 tells me that each sheet is going to cover 3.24 square metres of floor, floor area. So now I know my total area, I know my area that the sheet's going to cover. All I have to do is divide those two into each other. So my total area of my floor, 14.9. 633 divided by my area of a sheet which is 3.24 tells me I need 4.516 sheets to cover that. Now there are some restrictions that we're going to have. The sheets have to work joists. We can't have a sheet just um, going from one joist to the next. It has to, actually has to sail uh, across at least two joists. So there's some restrictions and rules for when we lay it, so we have to allow for a little bit of waste, and I'm going to allow 15% in this case. So my 4.516, that's supposed to be a 4. Uh, 4.516 times by 1.15 will give me 15%. So that's given me 5.193 sheets. Okay, I should actually say sheets. Can I fix it? Yeah, let's fix it real quick. Now, obviously, I can't buy 0.193 of a sheet, so I'm going to have to go and purchase six sheets, although I'm not going to use a lot of that last sheet. So I've had some spare you know, back at the um, back at my house or back at my office. I could use that. Let's have a look where those six sheets are going to go. So there's one sheet there. Next sheet I'm going to have to cut, so I'll cut a piece in here and then let the, let the rest run. Obviously we don't want our joins to overlap. Okay, and this is covering, this is going across 
uh, one, two, three joists, that's all right. And next sheet is going to run there. And this one here is going across the joist. We couldn't just butt it into here. We couldn't run it to this joist. Um, timber frame code doesn't allow us. So that's uh, one, two, three sheets. Fourth sheet. All right, we're going to have to cut that again. And our fifth sheet, we'll cut a piece in here and use the offcut, cut that in half down its length to fill in here. And as you can see, there's just this tiny amount on the end here that we're going to need for the sixth sheet. And there we go. As I said, if you've got a bit of scrap or a spare bit from another job, you could use that. So there we go. That's how we calculate the platform flooring required for our floor system.